And next we are actually going to have Marco Wolf, um, and he is the Chief Strategy Officer of Edita. He's going to be chatting about uh, how to create your own dynamic remarketing. Marco. Is it working? Yeah. yeah. Okay. First of all, I put my heart, not my face, in the middle of the space for uh, the speaker. Because, uh, as uh, Blaise Pascal wrote, the heart, no reason, the reason, no nothing about. So, uh, I will show you something about how to use uh, digital tools that is not made by the, the thinking of an engineer, but is uh, around uh, an idea that we Italians are um, more creative uh, uh, on interact. So, first of all, what uh, I want to show. Uh, my speech is about uh, how to use uh, remarketing in uh, a dynamic way, but not the standard uh, dynamic remarketing provided by Google, as what I call the handmade, uh, a little bit of uh, craft use of uh, remarketing. So I want to show what it is and how to do it. I want you to exit this uh, speech with uh, um, the tools and uh, the specific use of my idea so you can start uh, using it immediately. And uh, as uh, everyone knows uh, around, I need also to show you why uh, I think it's right. Because uh, without the why, we miss something. But um, I don't know if you follow Simon Sinek, uh, is uh, now uh, the third uh, most viewed TED Talks uh, on, uh, on the web. And um, he wrote uh, a book and uh, is famous for uh, is talking about how to start with a why. Usually we start thinking to people what to do, then uh, when uh, we delegate something and we see how people start doing stuff, we think it's better if I show you how to do it, but we will never get the right result before we share the why we want people to something. So, because I want you to start doing remarketing in a, a different way, it's better if I start with the why. So, why we need to do this? Everyone knows that there is a, a huge opportunity. A lot of people start acting uh, the buy, they put stuff in uh, the shopping cart, and they left. Usually, if you are um, able to read how many people or may, how many interactions you have on an e-commerce website with uh, uh, people coming in and putting stuff in uh, the chart, in your shopping cart, sorry, and um, how many of them go through, you will see that more than 92% of the cart are abandoned before the checkout activity. So, uh, Google provides us uh, the opportunity to use uh, uh, their tools, their remarketing, that is uh, an adaptation of uh, different tools of retargeting. Uh, for sure, some, someone in the audience knows Criteo and all the other uh, tools that are maybe most advanced. But uh, the standard opportunity is uh, a prospect come on a website. We start tracking him before he do every action. When he put something in the cart and uh, do something we know, when the prospect leave, we can show him um, more advertising to bring him back to the website. And it's the standard proposal made by Google. And uh, it's uh, mainly based on the fact that what we do online equals in eternity. So every element you did on a website is recorded somewhere. And uh, now we are uh, still in uh, the window frame that we can keep the, all the data unlimited time. Uh, before the 25 May of uh, next year, we will need to decide for every data when they expire. Yeah, I don't know how many of you are um, <coughs> in the know about uh, the new GDPR, the new uh, regulation about uh, data protection that will put privacy idea on the side uh, and we'll put protection on the center, but we will need to decide how long every detail of every customer of every activity will be kept. So 
our uh, standard activity um, give us the opportunity to show our product again, 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 again to a customer, but not every time we get sale from this. Um, one of my classic uh, analysis on uh, customer star from this, how many of uh, um, the uh, visits come from a different uh, source and uh, how many transactions I got from uh, that uh, source. And I can compare them. Usually paid search is the best because I'm super focused on the goal that the customer want. Uh, organic search usually is uh, close, a little uh, less performance, but uh, usually cheaper in uh, investment and direct is what I get from the awareness of my brand provided to the user. But display, display usually costs like nothing until uh, the customer interacts, but provides very, very low results until I start focusing on why I don't get what I want. <laughs> In the beginning of the Gladiator movie, the German that uh, are one of the last population that uh, uh, the Maximus, the general, need to conquer, are decide not to accept uh, a proposal from an ambassador, and uh, the uh, German leader is uh, uh, holding the head of the ambassador right now, so we have a clear objection. Okay, your proposal is not that good for us, so let's fight. This is not what we can see and read from our data when customers can and don't buy. And uh, usually, if you are uh, in the sales, ma sales activity, you know that uh, mainly the objection that uh, a, a prospect can do are of uh, four kinds. Uh, Zig Ziglar, one of the most uh, famous authors about sales, uh, uh, usually show this for uh, objection in, uh, in this order. First, I don't need it. You are proposing something that I don't need. Maybe I arrive on your website, I land on your website because I was doing something else, but I don't need your product. Maybe I'll put it uh, also in uh, the shopping cart because uh, yeah, it's cool, but I don't need it right now. Second, I don't have money. Yeah, it look uh, interesting, but right now I have uh, a, a lot of payment. Uh, my credit card uh, are at the limit. Uh, it's, may, maybe next time, or if there is a discount, maybe, but not right now. Hey, no hurry. Now that everyone start uh, um, a buying process from a mobile, and maybe start the process on a metro, on a tube, on a bus. Uh, and then arrive to destination, stop the process. Or maybe if you have kids, and I have two kids, I know I start doing stuff, and then because I'm not focused on them, they ask for attention, and uh, I have to stop what I'm doing. So sometimes I start an activity, but it's not uh, what I need exactly right now. I need the product, I need the, the tool, uh, I accept the price, not now. But at the end of the list, there is no trust. I don't know how many of you are focused on uh, which are the most important pages on an e-commerce website. I knew only last year that the most important page on an e-commerce website is the warranty for customers. And if it's written like uh, a paper for an insurance, maybe it's not that uh, uh, cool for the user, maybe it's not as uh, good for conversion, because uh, Every time you start uh, seeing a movie or reading a book, you decide that uh, also if there are people flying, uh, using magic, you accept it. But when you are in front of a, a monitor, a display, and you are buying something, you do exactly the opposite. You decide that you need proof. You need a lot of proof before providing your uh, credit card details, uh, your home address, uh, your email address, you don't want to show your personal details to everyone until you trust him or 
the organization. And the standard, dynamic remarketing provided by Google, if you use uh, the standard activity, provide the uh, product and the price. We are following which of the four objections? Maybe two. No money, maybe the starting from, so maybe we can pay by lease, or we can get a discount if we don't buy immediately, and we see the product, so maybe it's in a hurry. But we are not focused on no need and no trust. And sometimes, because a picture is worth a thousand words, we are showing too many words. I don't know how many of you knows that a very good seller don't speak, listen. A very good seller ask questions and wait. And a very good seller sometimes is a very well performance optimized website that ask questions and wait for the prospect to interact and provide useful data. So we need only the word that converts, not a thousand words. Sometimes we show images, maybe the images of the product that um, made a new friction point. A customer arrive on a, a website, visit uh, the page of a pair of shoes uh, or a t-shirt or something, and we try to follow the customer with an image of that t-shirt. Which color, which size, how is the neck, what uh, is on every sleeve? Maybe we are showing something that uh, allows the distance between the customer and the buying process. Uh, the prof uh, Professor B.J. Frog of uh, the University of Stanford is famous around the world because uh, he made this uh, framework that is uh, based on every behavior change. Every app you have on your phone and every digital tool you have in your hand right now is built from a company who sent someone to attend his course at Stanford University. I will get what I want asking it, asking for it with a trigger when the other part is at the uh, correct amount of need, so he wants, is motivated to do it, but he has also the ability to do it. So, because I don't know exactly what is the right time, which is the right amount of uh, um, ability of the user on the other side, I have to show my trigger many, many, many times until I get the perfect timing, but not the same advertising. And uh, if you uh, see how many times, uh, if you go on uh, Zalando or Amazon or Booking, the automatic remarketing activities or the automatic retargeting activities also uh, using Quickail is always the same banner, the same image, the same price. It's not always the perfect solution. So how to do it? We have the opportunity on uh, Google Analytics to use uh, the audience definition and use dynamic attribute. And uh, uh, in the Golito movie, Quintus, after seeing the German leader with the head of the ambassador, says customers should know when they are converted. <laughs> and sometimes customers don't know how to convert and they have no opportunities to go over. So, we have also the opportunity to build a custom uh, definition on Google Analytics and to build segments using this. We use uh, the audience definition. We can use it on Google Analytics and then bring all this audience to Google AdWords. I hope that everyone in this room has uh, um, already connected Google Analytics and Google AdWords. I remember how hard it was 10 years ago to do it. Right now is, uh, it, I think also my daughter that is four years old uh, uh, and be able to connect Google Analytics and Google AdWords. I don't want to insult anyone in the audience who didn't connect it, but do it immediately if you didn't do. Because you can build audience on every element you have 
in Google Analytics. You can build audience of people that uh, so a page, um, a product, uh, or um, uh, fill a form, everything. And you can build also combined audience. All the people who saw this page and didn't fill the form. But you can also build, uh, using a dynamic retargeting, also build audience or on elements specific for that kind of audience. For example, uh, I follow more than 400 hotels in Italy. And I was born in uh, Rimini on the East Coast uh, in a very touristic area, similar to Brighton, but with sand, not rocks. <laughs> in uh, Portuguese, it's better. A lot better. Yeah. We have more than 1,000 hotels in uh, 30 kilometers uh, range, so uh, very competitive area. And uh, for the um, uh, travel uh, segment, Google provides the opportunity to build dynamic uh, segment using uh, start date uh, and date of uh, the journey, how many adults, how many kids, uh, and uh, what are more details specific for the target. For a target audience. So I, I started uh, using the standard dynamic remarketing and uh, I got a lot of uh, exclamation mark. And uh, who is familiar with uh, uh, dynamic remarketing knows that just one question mark and uh, your audience is not uh, accessible. So uh, we haven't uh, detected the custom parameter for hotel and rentals. Uh, there are problems with some of your custom parameters for travel. We haven't detected custom parameters for custom business types, but I feel it all. It's not that easy, and it's usually made for OTAs, for booking, for Expedia, for vertical port. It's not made for a standard hotel owner, one or two, really, because one the code or the ID of the structure. I have only one. I put one, doesn't work. I want to use it. You can't. So, because we are artists in Italy, and we want manual control on everything, I, I'm not that confident that AI is that good. And Kelvin shows us, you try to speak with Alexa, or with Echo, with uh, okay, Google, with Siri. I didn't understand. Oh, that is not okay. I want manual control, so I have the opportunity to build custom dimension. If you are not using the Google Analytics uh, for business, the one that costs uh, uh, a little bit more than nothing, okay, you have 20 custom dimension available, so use it properly. Uh, for example, we save also the date of the request. We save also the temperature on the guest side and the weather on the guest side. Because we know in the travel sector that uh, everyone is meteoropathic. If uh, there is sun at your home, you want to go on a holiday, and you want to go on a holiday in a place when there is sun right now, not maybe in the future. So we save all the details and we can build audiences and made activities based on the weather forecast. And it's cool. It's really cool. So I built a lot of audience. Maybe super small with uh, 200, uh, 300 people in the, in the audience. And I start acting in a different way for every segment with my creativity, not Google AI. Not Google repeating the same banner every time, every time, every time, to every audience. But the first time uh, uh, we started, we got a false start. A lot of audiences get no conversion, no money back. And I started last year. You can see here the euro sign, because uh, we are based in uh, Italy. I started last year to speak in many events about Euro marketing. I will do for my customers only activities that can be tracked and traced in Euro. They are paying me in Euro. I want to bring them back Euros. Maybe in your country is pound marketing. Okay, the same stuff. There is a little bit change that moves around. 
But uh, if I'm a, an owner of a website, I'm spending money on Google's, I will love your conversion on this section or the next. And to get the next section, I will use remarketing. To get the conversion, I will, I will not use every time the same message. Einstein says that uh, um, was fullness, repeating every time the same stuff and expecting different results. And we have also, uh, as I showed us before, the opportunity to extend the audience to a similar audience. So we build a very small segment. We know that they are focused on some details. And then they, we can use the extension to a similar audience to the one that we have. So for example, our audience is 4,500 users. A similar audience is 19,000. We can focus that message that worked for the 4,500 to a larger audience without having the first visit and then tracking them. But there is a little bit of an issue that uh, in uh, the Gladiator, one of the other slaves says uh, to Maximum, you have a great name. The emperor has to kill your name before killing you. And in many, many times, doing remarketing, we are killing our brand because we are showing our brand so much and so many times that customers decide that they, now they are blind to our brand or they don't want to have anything with us. So, um, three years ago, on uh, the Set uh, Guardian uh, blog, I found this post that uh, changed completely the way I um, <coughs> advertise all my customers on the web. The, Mm, title was uh, the most important question. I started with uh, a lot of questions like this: Is my price low enough? Uh, it is uh, really is is it really reliable enough? Uh, do I offer enough features? Am I on the right social channels? I don't know how many of your customers or your friends are saying. Oh, are you on Pinterest? Uh, have you tried to use Tinder for your company? Uh, really? <laughs> My website is cool enough. I, you don't know how many of my customers come to me asking me, Marco, I want a Figo website because Figo in Italy is cool. And I don't do real No, I don't want to show to provide you a cool website. I want to provide you a website that converts. Am I promising enough? Yeah, let's add a. 2,000 more um, promises on our website. We will provide this and this and this again and this more and whatever. And in the post, Seth Godin wrote something that changed completely my focus. If you are advertising, you are doing marketing to someone who never put something from you, the most important question is do they trust me enough to believe my promises? Because every word you wrote on your website is nothing if the user don't trust you. Have you ever built an advertising to raise trust? Oh, awareness, 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 awareness. And trust? So we tested. Different messages focus on the different four objections. No need, focus on you don't need it now. Okay, we suggested different messages to increase the needs. Every good seller know how to build the need on a customer. And we found that only 15% of our uh, bounce were built on the no needs. And about no money, 31 person. No hurry, 12 person. And we were focused on this in, in uh, the first time. We thought, okay, remarketing. We can follow the customers who didn't buy right now because uh, he's doing something else. Let's follow him with the same message everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. But no trust. 42% of the sales that we made 
following the customers who are based on not trust. So we focus all the messages on building trust, using uh, reviews with faces, using video reviews with the voice and the tone of voice of people living in the area of our customers because we can build remarketing activities focus on a, a city, a province, a state, a country. And perfection is achieved not when there is nothing more to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. So we show only what we knew that it was good, not all the other stuff. And every time a customer comes in my office, oh, Marco, I want to add this on my website. Do you think it will increase the sales or will decrease the sales? And many, many times, more elements on your page, more elements on your website, less sales. So it's a fight and we can win only fighting in the field. So everything that is automatic is not for an increase of conversion. Thank you. <laughs>